Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. There was a reminder from myself and Abdul Ajeezu, the evil, miskinu, zalim, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. A blessed month of Muharram, one of the four holy months that Allah has drawn our attention to and Ashanura is the opening of immense light and the salvation of all nations and an immense salvation for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad with the events of Imam Husayn as and Shuhadai Karbala as that Allah raise their darajats infinitely higher and that we be under their intercession on Yawmul Mashar under the shade of Imam Husayn as and that They dress us from their rida and satisfaction that the immensity that Allah gave to us of seeing this holy days giving us a life in which to open and step in to another year of hijrah and pilgrimage to the Divinely Presence and that to remember the immense realities that only Allah are bringing from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad of the realities of Muharram that we talked last night that the hijrah meaning the migration from the oceans of difficulty and struggling in the heart. Mecca represents the station of the heart in which all our lives we have to struggle with our heart, we have to destroy the idolatry and all that wants our worshipness and our submission. When people say that we submit to Allah is that we are attempting to submit to Allah Every vice and every desire is a rub over us, Subhana Rabbi al-Ala means that, Glory be to the Lord Most High in my sujood. From everything that shaitan has put into this world that stops us from that sujood, that the Lord Most High deserves all our attention and all our worshipness. And Prophet ﷺ 13 years of abuse and struggle and fight against the desires and the bad actions of people all around. Before the order of the hijrah was 13 years of difficulty and in our lives when we complain and think that we're having difficulty, we can't imagine that the most beloved of Allah's creation on what type of difficulty, what type of torment from people, how much they threw, they threw difficulties upon Sayyidina Muhammad and he kept the best of manners, the best of character. They threw trash at the door and Prophet would go to clean it. Before his daughter, his beloved Sayyidina Fatima would see it, so not to cause a distress in her heart for the abuse that people were putting upon. The Prophet comes into our heart and reminds us. That every Muharram that opens is no haram, to try our best in life to struggle with the station of Mecca which is our heart and clean our heart from all its idols. Not the, the statue and the Buddha but everything that is the hidden idol, everything that is coming in our life and stopping us from making the sujood, making our 
our prayer and our sajda to Allah with our full heart and with all our love. What's stopping us from praying, from making the sujood, from doing what Allah wanted from us of good character and good actions? And that's what Prophet comes into our heart and asks each Muharram that step into this month and ask Allah to enter the gates of tawbah in which we leave these bad actions and that we move toward the ascent and towards the oceans of realities. And the importance in Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyya in which it's the only tariqah from the heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, a Siddiq al-Mutlaq and call Siddiqiyya tariqah because of the immensity of the secret. And that 42 other tariqahs are from the reality of Imam Ali Salam as his Siddiqiyya secret. And Naqshbandiyya comes with the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq's Siddiqiyya secret and then with Sayyidina Qasim and Sayyidina Imam Ja'far as Sadiq inside the shajara and the chain of Naqshbandiyya it brings the hidden reality of Imam Ali Salam to dress Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah that he brings his secret into this tariqah that you make your akhlaq and your character exactly how Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq wants it because this was the beloved Khalil of Sayyidina Muhammad Have a truthful character that he'll mold you as your spiritual father, the spiritual father of our Naqshbandiyya tariqah Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq That he'll mold you in perfection of character in which he'll dress us with his inheritance that when they came to give to Prophet Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq had given everything. They were preparing for battle and each companion was bringing what they had to give to Prophet each you know 30%, 40%, 50%. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq had brought all his life's possessions and put at the step of Sayyidina Muhammad and explained that, I've left only for my family, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah And this is our inheritance. This is the greatness of our spiritual father in which he is giving an inheritance of his station, his khuluq, his character that if you truly love me and follow this tariqah I want to dress you with a Siddiqiyya character, I want to dress you with a truthful character that you're truthful in your actions and in your deeds. And then that character of truthfulness will make you dear to Sayyidina Muhammad That's why our hijra of Naqshbandiyya's realities, it starts with that understanding that don't forget Imam Ali Salam in this tariqah, he's lying in the bed for this mission to occur. And he's lying in that bed to teach us that when this great Siddiq takes you to that cave takes you on your path, treats and shows you how to be truthful, I'll come back and dress you from a secret. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq comes and dresses our character, teaches us with all the Naqshbandi mashaykh that how to have a truthful character and a character in which Sayyidina Muhammad to love you and befriend you because so happy with that beautiful character. And then Sayyidina Ali comes to sweeten that reality because after they attempted to kill Sayyidina Ali Salaam and Allah blocked that and not a hair on the head of Imam Ali Salaam was, was injured, he escaped from Mecca and appeared in Medina to Munawwara to greet the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad means that Imam Ali Salaam comes into the tariqah and begins to sweeten with the prophetic and family inheritance. Naqshbandiyatul Aliyya they want to dress with the Siddiqiyya and the companion reality to dress you from that Siddiqiyya truth 
and to grant you from the family reality and this is from the inheritance of Sayyidina Muhammad that given to Imam Ali from Ulul Bab that come and I make you from the people of the gate in which not only your character is so beloved to Sayyidina Muhammad but that you sacrifice everything for that love. That you don't even think twice about the love that you have for Sayyidina Muhammad and that sacrifice everything in your life for that reality. That you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves, more than we love our parents, our children, more than we love anything from this dunya. We try to take a path in which to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than any of these things. So that that perfection of character, perfection of that reality can come into our existence and into our lives. And so many realities from that hijrah that we're asking Allah to open Ya Rabbi from the character of these holy companions. That the Kaaba, when you look to the Kaaba is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad when you look to the two golden doors with two golden hearts, these are the realities of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Sayyidina Ali as Salaam that teaching us that these are the two great Siddiqs that bringing the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad into this reality to be dressed, to be perfected, to giving them the, the khuluq and the character that pleasing to Allah and that's what this hijra and the Naqshbandiya realities of this hijra is that we're asking from. That if we don't know the intention, it doesn't matter because awliya they know. They're asking Allah that let this year to begin, Ya Rabbi, that we fulfill this covenant that we gave with these holy companions. That they perfect our character, that we reach to that truthfulness in our actions and in our deeds. And that Imam Ali begins to teach us and make us from the caretakers of the door. That the ulul bab in which we stand firm at the door for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah Allah give us istiqam and firmness in our Ameen. belief and in our practices. Reminding us that as we're entering in and following Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq they went to a cave. And inside that cave they went and they hid a spider web had blocked its gate, a bird became present, a dove which represents the peace and the angelic beauty of that reality and that dove had two eggs. This is for the mulk and malakut, the angel, angelic reality that guards this cave of what we're trying to enter, everything in it was a code. That when Allah put Sayyidina Muhammad into that cave with his beloved friend Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as Salaam. But then the, the entry of that cave, that beatific spider web and every year we repeat for our understanding so that we can go deeper and deeper into that understanding. And in front of that cave a dove with two eggs means that a sign for us is that this cave has an entry and has a reality. And the ankabut Allah describes the spider that makes this beautific and fragile home. Means that our rizq is not to conquer the earth, running in the bazaar and, and trying to conquer everything, conquer everything and then say, one day I'll, I'll retire and then I'll worship Allah Say, no, the, the ashab al-kaf, the real, the real Ashab al-Kaf, everything is real by Sayyidina Muhammad Before that everything was an imitation. The real Ashab al-Kaf are the ones whom are running into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah is saying, if you want to come into this cave, look what you see first. Do you see the spider web that's blocking this cave? Because many of your friends and colleagues and brothers and sisters, they won't see this cave. They don't understand what's being said about the heart, run to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That's the secret of A'udhu Billah. How do you have Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem if you didn't understand A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem? 
If you want knowledges, you want every reality, they say everything you do, do with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. What's the value of saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem if you yet didn't even understand the A'udhu Billahi min shaitanir rajeem? Seek refuge in Allah from the accursed devil. Who, how, how are we to seek refuge in Allah is to seek refuge in those who are already in Allah's refuge and satisfaction. Means run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that is the protection from Shaitan al rajeem When we understood this cave Allah takes and looks, says, look at that spider web. Do you see what a beautific house that is? How delicate and how fragile that creature makes its home. And that home is, is his way of making sustenance. He builds a beautific house and then he waits for Allah He waits for Allah to send his sustenance. He waits for Allah to send him what he's in need of. For that creature Allah is truly his sustainer. That he reached into an understanding of himself that I can't catch anything or can't bring anything into my mouth Ya Rabbi other than building this beatific home, building this beatific reality and then Allah when He's pleased with it, He sends the sustenance into that web. And only Allah came into our hearts and described that your web that you should be building is your awrad, your zikr and all your good deeds of salawats and, and zikr. Do the, the actions that are so pleasing to Allah Do your zikrs, do your awrad, do all of these practices and the house that you build becomes so beautific to Allah that Allah shows you, I am truly your sustainer. I send you everything, I send you whatever I believe you're in need of and I send it to you. And because their house is zikr and salawats and, and all the good deeds, they're continuously thanking Allah The shukran Ya Rabbi, alhamdulillah wa shukran illa, making salawats, praising upon Allah and it becomes a perpetual reality as they're praising Allah sending more. Because their whole life was keep repairing the, the web, keep repairing it, building it, repairing it and Allah keeps sustaining and sustaining that servant. And then Allah said, look see that dove, it's a symbol of my angels, that the angels guard the presence of this reality and the two eggs are symbolic of the two creations. Rasulullah Taqalain, the master of the two worlds of the mulk and malakut, that the master of this reality, this is the cave, this is the heart to that reality. And if one day you understand that inside this cave, inside this heart is Manzil Qur'an, its power, its ocean and its realities is the flowing Holy Qur'an of Allah The creator of all created universe, universes is teaching and speaking to this heart. It's something that can't even be understood or imagined. And Allah say, I'm giving you access to this heart. Enter into its reality and understand this reality. So when those whom are fortunate enough and Allah granted them a ni'mat, that do you understand? Are you understanding to enter into this cave? And they enter into this cave and what Allah draws their attention. In this cave there's a great Siddiq and his life is the tahzim al nabi that this beatific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is inside this cave and his only concern is the safeguard of this reality. 
Means these analogies are important in our life that if you want to inherit this position from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, wasn't in the cave looking for food, looking for fire, looking for nothing. Just that Allah gave him an opportunity to be with his most beloved servant. And all he wanted to do was to make sure that his beloved servant could take a nap and rest his head on his lap oh. and that he would secure that nothing would aggravate or agitate this beloved servant of Allah It's tahzim, it's showing so much love and respect for the reality. That so much so that there was a hole and a snake was coming into this hole and this great Siddiq put his heel into the hole. Means that our life was about this beatific reality that Allah gave to us and Allah's going to ask, what did you do with it? Did you just pass it up? Did you think of it as something regular like everything else in life? Or was it so precious to you that you held it with a reverence? Your whole life was how to show a reverence to the whole world for this reality. That's why Mawlid the Nabi is so important, this dawah is so important because it's taking that beatific love of Prophet and sharing it with the world in a beatific and elegant and perfected way, not something small, not something inimportant or, or, or don't put it, you put it with the best of eloquence, the best of elegance, the best of what Allah has given to us and share with the world this beatific fragrance and that's tahzim and nabi to magnify the magnificent status of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And the great Siddiq that when this hole and seeing a snake to come out, he put his qadam and his holy foot to block. And awliyaullah come to our hearts and taught us that this heart and this heart of ours it has a block, a black dot, a black spot in which shaitan is trying to enter into the heart to contaminate the faith and take away the faith of insan. And the only thing that can save this servant is the qadam of a siddiq. The only thing that can save your heart from its black spot and from the attack of shaitan there's not a mountain high enough to go, there's not an ocean deep enough to escape in, there's nowhere to hide yourself from this attack of shayateen. If you're not in the heart of Prophet and that you're not accompanying these great siddiqs. And so alhamdulillah that Allah has guided us to this way and to this path. And that that great foot of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, as Siddiq at Mutlaq that his holy qadam to be in our hearts Ameen. and to block the entry of shayateen. Ameen. 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 That to block shaitan from coming and stealing our faith and stealing our actions and stealing our character. Ameen. And every year is a reminder for us, Ya Rabbi we're starting the year and remembering. We're remembering these realities asking from these great personalities and these great souls that we are their children to adopt us, take care of us, watch over us, that we are weak servants and we want to reach to what you have given as a bounty, as a, as a gift to the nation. We want to reach to that reality Ya Rabbi. Let the great Siddiq's foot to block shaitan and make us to be a muqaddam and those whom they took the footsteps of this great reality. We pray that Allah to dress us and bless us with this understanding of the hijrah, the opening of that reality and that the great Siddiqs and the great companions of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress us and perfect us, perfect our character because they're inheriting from Umm, ummati, 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 the, the desire that Prophet had for his nation 
His beloved companions have that desire to perfect the nation and to present the nation pure and purified to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah to dress us and to bless us from that reality and that we be under their nazar, under their intercession and in these holy nights that they dress us and fulfill that reality upon our souls inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.